Hello YouTube, hello world, Mark here from Wondering Souls, back with another video and this time I have some black metal update for you guys. Um, this time it's all CDs, so yeah, not vinyl this time, or cassettes or whatever, just CDs. And um, I have them now for a while, yeah, I thought we are probably gonna show the, the, this to you guys, because yeah. Yeah, what else, huh? Um, the first thing I want to show you guys is uh, the music we listen to right now. And this is Might Affliction. And that's a black death metal band from Poland with their 2016 album, 16 album Into the Void. Um, yeah, what can I say? Yeah. From Poland, like I said, uh, the second album. Oh yeah, also yeah, for the first album, of course, and yeah. um, inside his lyrics, this is the back, and this is released by Metal Scrap Records, a label I've never heard of, but hey, I bought this very cheap at a distro, and uh, yeah, it doesn't sound bad uh, for that price. Yeah, my affliction from Poland with Into the Void. Then actually an, a re-release of the third album by Dark Funeral, Diabolus Interium. We all know Dark Funeral, don't have to explain that much, uh, black metal band from Sweden. The original album was released in 2001, and this is the 2013 uh, re-release by Century Media. Compared to the first two albums, this album was a lot faster, a bit technical, uh, more technical. Newer lineup, uh, Matt Modin as a new drummer at that time. And yeah, the guy's fucking fast. Um, it's a pretty good album, um, but I like the two albums before this better, but that's uh, because the atmosphere. Oh, those elms. Atmosphere in this elm is also in there, but um, I think, especially the first one, is a more darker elm. Uh, yeah, how can I say? Uh, for my feeling, for my how I hear it, I don't know. Um, this re release has um, eight bonus tracks, and it contains a re recorded version of Apprentice of Satan, which was. Uh, from second album, I believe, for Biscum Satanas. Uh, there's a King Diamond cover on it, a Slayer cover, a uh, Sodom cover, a uh, Mayhem cover, of course, and three live tracks. Um, I, sp I think they were also released some songs on Teach the World, uh, Teach the Children to Worship Satan EP, which was uh, released before this. Um, but hey, uh, pretty good. Uh, the CD looks like this, and it's actually it's pretty interesting. It's the black CD, it's the back of, yeah, of the inlay, and the back of the CD looks like this with the band members and the tracks. Yeah, pretty decent black metal, um, not really underground anymore, I think, because, yeah. We are very famous now. Famous. Um, they're a well known black metal band. Um, yeah. One of the first bands you learn when you get into black metal band. And, uh, black metal, I think, together with Mayhem and stuff like that. Um, yeah. But it's, it's decent, it's not bad, but I prefer the older albums. And also like the newest album where Shadows Forever Rain is also a very cool album. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's, it has some good songs on it, like uh, The Rival Satan's Empire is a real good song, Hell Murder. It's two songs they play a lot live. Yeah, cool stuff. Um, then I have an album by Besat from Poland. This album I uh, have reviewed on my web scene, so if you want to read that, it's in Dutch, but um, 
it's also on there, just look for Bossat and the search options. You probably find a few reviews and this one Elm is also in it. Uh, yeah, nine synths, the ninth studio Elm, um, nine songs uh, in nine chapters. Yeah, what about nine? <laughs> this is front look pretty good. Not really black metalish, uh, like a lot of colors, but um, yeah, it looks good. This is the back of the booklet, and this release is by at least uh, and distributed by three labels: Mutilation Records, um, Warheart Records, and Red Stream. Um, this version is the uh, distribution of from um, Warheart Records. This is the inside. A lot of pictures and lyrics in it, as you guys can see. Like I said, they're from Poland. Um, yeah, there's pretty decent black metal. This is the CD itself, and this is what is behind the CD, and this is the back. Yeah, it's pretty black metal. It has a vocals you love or hate. Uh, uh, different from the, the normal black screens, is a bit between shouting and growling. Um, it's a vocal style you must get used to. If you can't, then probably this will be nothing for you. But yeah, I think it's pretty neat. Um, Besat with nine synths. Then I have a symphonic metal band, a black metal band, sorry, from Armenia, and it all are women. Um, yeah, I'm talking about Diva with Diva Rise, a release from 2014 by Sleazy Araya Records. This is the back with the females. Lyrics and pictures. Nothing really special. But it's pretty good looking artwork. That's the back. I also have reviewed this album on my uh, website, Wandering Soul, so if you want to read that one in Dutch, you can look it up there. Um, yeah, this is uh, yeah, black metal, symphonic way, um, keyboards, guitars, bass, drums, vocals. Female uh, screams are not bad, they're not high screams, but a bit lower. Um, yeah, I also have a guest appearance on vocals by Attila Sihar, which is of course the vocalist of Mayhem. Uh, and uh, he appears on the song Blindness, Blindness, which is the second song on this CD. Um, yeah, pretty neat song. Also Shadows is a very good song. Uh, Alien is a very good song. Area Khan is also not bad. Um, I also made a couple of uh, video clips for this band and Alien is one of them and which is also on, on this CD so if you put it in the computer you can see the video clip but I also think this video is on YouTube uh, so if you just type in Divar it will appear on your screen I think um, yeah black metal from Armenia not very I've not seen all, all uh, often, and um, yeah, pretty neat. But if you don't like Symphonic Black, don't go try this. Um, yeah, if you like it, you just try it, and you, yeah, you'll see if you like it or not. It's not bad. And then I have a band 
which is from Belarus and this is a 2015 release and I'm talking about Evita and the album name just gonna try it but my my Russian is not that very good but Sornaya Tsvil hope you can guys can try to pronounce that for me it's like right here um, this is the back pretty dark and that's how the music also sounds a bit dark raw it's atmospheric black metal not the very fast but yeah it's pretty cool not very special or a thing like I never heard this kind of stuff before but it's pretty okay um, yeah four long songs on this album um, well the album is almost 45 minutes this uh, yeah, thing it's four so there's more than 10 minutes per song um, yeah, this is the back Released by Possession Records and limited to a thousand copies. Um, yeah, it's their fourth album, raw sounding, uh, black atmosphere, black metal, repeat, rep, kind of with riffs. It's a, I'm not sorry. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Not the very most original thing, but. Uh, yeah, I can enjoy it. Fita with the old name I can't pronounce. The last one I have for today is uh, a 2016 release and it's brand new. Um, I'm talking about a split CD between Blut aus Nord and Evangelists with Codex Obscura Nomida very cool uh, if you don't know this band uh, Blood House North is a, a black metal band from France and um, yeah a band who tries to experiment exper uh, does experiments on their sound do different stuff um, have their own sound I think it's raw something different um, this time on this release the experiment goes uh, uh, pretty far I almost sometimes you think is this black metal but so far it goes um, yeah it's pretty dark so it's pretty cool um, Evangelist is a black death metal outfit from the United States it's a one-man band I believe um, but I could be wrong, could be so two or three members. Sorry if I'm just mistaken. Um, yeah, also a bit experimental, not that experimental as Blood Owls North. It's still black death metal, deep growls, uh, black guitar sound. Um, yeah, it does some other things, but stays a bit black metal. There are four of uh, five songs on this uh, CD. Four of Blood Out North uh, with it's about 20 minutes playing time, and then one song from Evangelist, which is also 20 minutes, but one song is a very long song. Never get bored, and yeah, very interesting stuff. Released by Debbie Morty Productions, which is this label. Um, yeah, very cool stuff. Yeah, I really enjoy this, uh, especially the Evangelist sides I like more than the Blue House North side, but yeah, I still like it. So uh, yeah, it's a DJ pack. it falls out like this, this is the CD, this is the back, there's no booklet in here, just this DJ pack. Um, yeah, it's actually two members by uh, Evangelist, 
so, like I said, it could be mistaken. And, um, it's two members, Oscaris and Matron Thorn. One does the vocals and the other the instruments. Blood House North, yeah. Cool band. Yeah, like I said, cool release from 2016. Um, probably gonna spin this some more just to get more into the Blood House North part. Um, yeah, cool stuff. Really dig this. Yeah, that was the last for today. Um, I have some more CDs to show you guys, but I'm gonna do that in another video, otherwise this one is getting pretty long. Um, there's also more vinyl, I have two vinyls to show you guys, but uh, more on the way, so I'm gonna wait to have some more vinyls, but two is a little bit, yeah, not much, just, so I'll probably do four or five vinyls, if I have that, then I'll show you some vinyl again. Um, yeah, really uh, have a good time with these releases, um, with the other releases I still have to show you also of course, but um, yeah, I would uh, I like to guess, guys, thank you for watching, um, for subscribing, uh, give nice comments, um, yeah, you guys rule. Um, Keep supporting metal and we'll see you guys next video.